Residents of Awudi in the Greater Accra region are expressing feelings of neglect after years of underdevelopment in the area. The community has long struggled with a lack of basic amenities, leaving residents frustrated. Akusi Ochre visited Awudi to capture the story of how poverty is taking a severe toll on the residents. Despite progress in many areas of Ghana's capital, Accra, poverty is still rife in some parts of the city. I visited Awudi in the Gasals municipality, where poverty has become a cycle that is hard to break. The residents, primarily farmers, live without access to education, potable water, electricity or healthcare facilities. For instance, Samo Abadivo, a 65-year-old resident, has lived in Awudi his entire life and faces these challenges. Or Nuchumo, a yarno, while you were fake queer Nuchumo, a yarno, ye beer. No, or be no queer beer. Hella song by more. No genuine bound, a beer pea. Meaning Nuchumo, your true. Quan Nuchumo, or do I believe? Yo, Ker Blafongbe Nakanuchumo, or fame or fear beer. Born Aker. Beer, Benio, your beer, I feel like to how it was skated six to five years. No care now for we are being a one. I go like Dabby, 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 Naco. Well, in on GTV TV, Nani, Nati, Obo TV to a Obo radio to Dabby. The one only I know your mommy feel Dabby and Leco. Electricity is a problem. There is no water. The people do not have any proper uh, structures that they are living in. And so that really is what they are facing in this area. They don't really have any proper work that they are doing to, to earn them some monies to you know, keep their lives going. So that's why today we are here, to tell the story of the people living in Awudi. And mind you, this is not outside Greater Accra. This is Greater Accra region. We are just going in there to see... Um, where he lives, he says he has six children. Over man, 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 go inside. Uh, okay, so this is where he lives. Uh, okay, so hmm. wow, you can see the pictures of his children on the wall, um, some suitcases, and so this this is a real life story of. Uh, what poverty looks like because he's been narrating to me how he suffered and how he's even dealing with the poverty in the first place another resident 45 year old christian shared that poverty has severely impacted his life particularly affecting his children's education one because he has no money to fund their education and secondly because there is no school structure in the area <laughs> Okay. 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 Oh, be coming. Oh, fine. Oh, nice, nice. What's your name? What's your name? Ah, that's small. I like that. I like that. She Oceane. Oh, fine. Oh, fine. Hey, to where be any? Come on. I'm gonna ask you. She eba. She can't walk. Any other dog? Hey, hey, hey. Five years. He mentioned that the small farms they relied on to cultivate and sell sacks of corn for some income have been sold to private developers. This loss of farmland further worsens the poverty and hardship they face. In 2009, Christian's father, who is 91, wishes to own at least a cemented house before his exit from Earth. 
Ruby Gabra, known as the richest woman in Awudi, owns about five mud houses, each given to her children as their bedrooms. One of her children even owns the only motorcycle in the community, which serves as a sole mode of transport for other residents. However, Ruby, the so-called richest in the area, has concerns to raise, especially regarding access to portable water. Okay. 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 Women in the area struggle to cook. They use the old method of cooking and are worried about how they have to deal with bad roads to get to the markets in other towns to buy some food stuff to use to get food on the table. Okay. In Ghana, the multidimensional poverty indicator is a measure of non monetary deprivation in four dimensions living conditions, education, health, and employment based on the 2021 population and housing census data. The Ghana Statistical Services report indicates that multidimensional poverty, as it stands in some districts in the country, is higher than 50%, which is more than twice the national rate of 24.3%. These districts include Ka South in Accra now placed 69th out of 261 districts in the country suffering from multidimensional poverty. What this means is that more than half of the population in these districts is deprived of suitable well-being. As a call for these basic amenities heightening, the local assembly in collaboration with authorities are vowing to take steps to bring some respite to the people. Hope we hear because none here contact electricity to Nupek we know a mapping. No, in a shock, a whole hopefully by August and the end of Afima Pian work a plan say, yeah. Electricity, apart from electricity, I mean, no, who's a nake the entire social amenities. I may be a man who's an ele, oh, like we again. Both she true, she true, couldn't go beyond the womb, mean quick better. Because if connected with uh, electricity, no light in our app in your tuning, no Bessani, fair said, I want a light than your name, okay, you may be both who let you know. What to my assurance who harm me, I can in equal from this time to this time, I may expect no assurance in your magic. When I get most of us or what can you say during election time, any and you have your wonders. By ending of this year. For residents in Awudi, what they want is simple. They want um, basic amenities that would allow them to live normal lives like anybody else, especially as they are found in the greater Accra region. Now they lack portable water and then also uh, they want electricity restored to this area, a major problem that they want immediately fixed. For Channel 1 News, Akuse Aotre, Accra.